Students, did you enjoy practicing using a protractor in lesson three? Okay, for real, some of you probably didn't, but others of you might have. No matter what though, today is the second day of angle measurement. Just because I think it would be good for you to practice using a protractor to measure angles. So play along with me. So I'm going to place the protractor on, um, on some part of this angle. And I want you to tell me, is it right or is it wrong? So play along. Is this correct? Is this correct? Oh, I can hear some of you saying almost, but I bet some of you are saying, Mrs. Moon, you don't even like that protractor. You're right. I like the green one better. Okay, so I'm going to the green one. I hear some of you saying, well, that's close to being correct, Mrs. Moon, but I want you to move it so that I can have zero on one of the lines. And you'll notice, hmm, oops, I'm going to have to move B a little bit, sorry. You'll notice I couldn't get it all in there because of where I had placed the, oh my, okay. I wanted to do this one first on purpose because in the classroom or even in life when you're measuring angles, sometimes you can't tell exactly where the angle points to because the lines of the rays aren't long enough. So in our situation, I can pull this blue line up to zero, right? But if you were in class, you might just take your pencil and extend your line. So I'm going to pull it up to zero just like this because that will help us, right? And I'm going to pull this one straight as well. And in class, you'll be able to do that exactly. Here it's a little harder, right? But notice I have the zero on one of the rays. And I put it upside down on purpose. Is the protractor in the angle? Yes. If I was moving the red angle, now is my protractor in the angle? Zero is on the ray, but is the protractor in the angle? No. So I would have to move my protractor around like this. Ooh, I like that. The zero is on one of the rays, or I can do it like this. As long as the protractor is within the angle. Okay, so now we're on zero and I'm working from the top this time. So I've got zero, 10 degrees. Is it quite 20 degrees? If you practiced yesterday, like this one looks like it's 18 or 19. And the thing I love about this program is that we can check. Ooh, it was, they think it's 17. So we're a little bit off, but that's okay. Oh, it's almost 18. Do you notice that? It's 17 and nine tenths. So it's about 18 degrees. This angle is 18 degrees. Okay, let's do one more angle. So I'm gonna move the protractor out of the way. And this time I wanna do, whoa. I'll be nice, let's see. I'm gonna be nice and make one. Maybe you played with this one yesterday because I said you could. This one is the non-random one, meaning, ooh, I'm gonna do a really obvious obtuse angle. Do you notice that? Because sometimes kids get a little more confused about the really obtuse ones. So I'm going to put my blue dot on the protractor. Okay. Is my protractor correct? No. Is my protractor correct? Yes. Is my protractor, pro oop, I can't look. I got it too crammed in there. Is my protractor correct now? Yes, I can do it either way. So I'll do it over here first. Start at zero. Are you noticing zero? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Holy cow, we're getting into obtuse. 130, 140, 150, 160, but it's not quite there. Maybe 158 almost. And do you notice? That's exactly what it says up in the angle measure. I hadn't hidden, hidden it. If I take it back to here and we do zero this way zero doo -doo 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 -doo. we know the angle is not 20 degrees so we need to look at the 160 because it's obtuse and it's not quite 160 160 is right here on this line and so 158 is what i thought the computer thinks it's 157 and a half that's okay we're close enough i just want you learning how to measure 
Students, I hope you are thinking that you are getting better at uh, measuring angles. So today you have some choices. You may go back to that GeoGebra, that was the name of the website yesterday, and practice measuring more angles, either random or non-random. You can make your own and practice measuring them. Or, or and, you can do all three of these. You can play alien angles or angle invaders. Your teachers will provide the links. And in a second, you'll watch me play both of them so that you know how to play. All three of those choices will help you gain understanding about measurement. Two and three are more of a challenge. Um, number one is just practicing like you did yesterday. No matter what, you will be able to measure angles. The most important part is to know whether they are acute, obtuse, right, or straight. And then if you can estimate like the games, then you are a rock star. Okie dokie. Have an awesome day. Okay, this is a great game, boys and girls. So much fun. So this is called Alien Angles, and it's in Math Playground, one of my favorite places to go to play math games. So you are going to, to play Alien Angles, excuse me, you need to create the angle that the alien is telling you to create. So I need to create a 94 degree angle, and so when you, when you do this, you have to imagine the protractor. Okay, so we know this is acute, 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 right? And then 94 is not much bigger. I don't know if, if I'm good, but watch this. I was close. I was only one degree off. And then you get a new one. So this time it's doing 49. Now this one will be a little harder. I might even choose to go, okay, that's 90. So 45 is like half of that. Oh, I don't know. Look, I was at 46. This would be a great game for you to play. Another game I found is called Angle Invaders by Mr. Newsbaum. And so this game, I like it because you have to type in the angles. So like 133. And then you shoot, and it blows up the invading ship. Oh my gosh, I got it exactly. Did you see that? This one has, oh, I don't know, 81. I'm totally estimating. Oh, I was, look, I was further out. I was three degrees out. Now, the thing I like about this game is as you play, the longer you play, the clues go away. So you're still having to estimate, but the clues are going to go away the longer you play. So I don't want to play anymore because I want you to have to play. But there's a description of how you play angle invaders.